years. Presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling and uh, prowling with us. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 198, NASDAQ up 210, S&P's up 40, gold contract up $22.30 at $18.21 an ounce. We got silver up 37 cents, $22.83 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up three bucks, 16 cents, $81.39 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now trading up eight ticks at 128.13. 30 year up 26 at 155.31 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 364 ticks, trade at 95.628. The euro is at 113. The yen is at 115.35. And the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 8 Excuse me, folks. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you had a big rejection of lower price out here yesterday. That being said, though, you had an expansion of volume. So when you take a look at this, you know, today you're going up with light volume. My take here is that we're going to get up to the highs, close to the highs, light volume. Then you're going to go right back downtown. This is the making of a consolidation. My, my take is that we're actually going to go down to the uh, October 4th level. And the SPY, that's 426. But guess what? I suspect first we're going to be up at 475. Right now you're at 469. The contraction, ha it's out here today, 54 million. Now, what you can also do is this. This is what's really cool about when, when you have consolidations, folks, okay, you can learn so much about the marketplace in price and volume. It's pretty cool. In energy in the marketplace. So... What you have here is this, okay? I'm gonna go back. The, the first time, you know, that we came down off the high was December 3rd. Now watch how this goes. Then, then what, what I measure is that, okay, what is the power going up after that, right? And you can see we had come down with 127 million shares, 132. Then you go up, you go up with 98 million shares, you go up with 95, okay? We come back down again. You come back down with 135, you come back down with 107. Now, go back to these numbers here, how we went up. 98 and 95. The next time, 58 and 56. You're going to want to watch this because what will end up happening if we're in the, we'll be in the 65s today, but you can get the gist of it. The gist of it is each and every time, if this gets weaker, that's telling you flat out, guess what, man? You're coming right back down the other side. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, did the same thing. As the, all the markets did yesterday, went to a lower low, uh, the NDX did. Uh, three Qs out here, we did monster volume. The We got down to a price point yesterday of uh, 369.31. And what that was doing, by the way, that, was, that went to the sign of strength when, 
we took off August 23rd. Bottom line, monster volume. You had, you had 91 million shares. You broke the swing, which had 65 million and 105 million. You're going up today in 59 million. We'll do about 70 million. I expect the same type of setup that you're going to get up there. This could get, out, get up to, you know, 397, 401. Bottom line, you give it up again. And the real question is, is that, you know, how are you going to come back down next time? My, the, the Q's, same setup, 350 on the Q's. The benchmark, the easiest way to do this is the benchmark is on October 4th. Gold, gold contract caught a bit out here. Bottom line, you're up, up 22 bucks. It rejected 1799. You have some volume behind the move, which you needed. You're at 157,000 contracts. Let's say, you know, it's going to run up to this uh, 1881. 1925 looks to be game for me inside of the gold market. We're going to take a look at the silver market. What do we have with the silver market? Silver market. Also caught a bit up here. You're up 36 cents. And in silver, let's see, 43,000 contracts, not bad. So silver, I suspect, is going to make this run to the 25.54 level. And this is going to be all about good old King Dollar. Uh, we may make up tomorrow morning. We'll see each and every time, folks, what has happened is this, is that as King Dollar has come down to the lower end of its consolidation, bottom line, it saved itself. You know, it saved itself uh, on November 30th. It saved itself on December 31st. It saved itself January 3rd. And it saved itself two days ago. What's that? that on Monday. Bottom line, we'll see what happens this time. This time, uh, bottom line, this thing can really rock. That's what it looks like. That's, uh, that's how it seems to be setting up. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have. Well, here, let's go look at the oil market because the oil, oil is not a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. But it looks to me like that's where we're going, man. Um, you're taking out a, a swing today. The swing you're taking out, actually, you are taking it out with volume. But because the day before it, the volume's so big, when something's that close, I use the largest volume characteristic. And in this case, that's 477,000. Uh, this is a straight line move, though. And if we go CL1 and we take a look at the continuous contract, I believe the next swing point up here is 105 bucks. Let's put this back on a monthly. So we're looking at the crude oil, where it very well may go. What's the, yeah, $107. $107 is game here. That's how it's that's how it's shaking out. You can see some of the uh, equities. Exxon Mobil's making another leg up in the marketplace. Um, Exxon's up 266. That's an ABC structure up. Yep, it's going to take the B out with. Volume today, this is this is a clean one too. 60. Ooh, that's a big one. It's nine bucks gets you 50. No, 76. Let's see what's at 76. Gotta go back away for 76, man. There it is right there. 83. 70. This is actually saying, let me put this on a monthly. So you're at 70. Yeah, 83 is game. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 179. NASDAQ's up 204. S&P's up 38. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 174. We get the Nasdaq up 197. S&Ps are up 37. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You just hit the opening call. You can get this for one month. For $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, folks, what happens is this Basil has approximately 12 archives on his webpage. So as soon as you get it, you're going to have all that great education that's included with the newsletter. Bottom line, you like the newsletter, you keep it. You don't like the newsletter, it doesn't work for you some reason within 30 days, you can get your money back. <clears throat> Basil Chapman, I heard you're freezing up there this morning. <laughs> it is very cold, zero, yes. Zero yeah. degrees. Very unusual for Boston, folks. I mean, it was eight degrees, but it felt like minus eight. That's what it said in the news. That's uh, the weather channel this morning, yeah. Pretty intense, man. Yep, it was, um, excuse me. Well, one of the things about it, of course, it's the wind chill. Yeah, yes. And as long as you've got that wind chill, that can really put extra coldness into the air. Oh, my God, I'm telling you. Well, market-wise, what do you think we got here? This is, this is quite a market we have. So there are a couple of things that I think we need to just talk about. I also wanted to go through a couple, a couple of aspects that you were talking about, which, which kind of fits in with what, what I'm, I'll be showing in a moment. Okay. But the most important thing is when you think of the Dow making an all-time high of 36,952 on January the 5th, and yesterday it comes down to 35,639, and that's and 1,300. This is not a big, a, a big deal. What is a big deal is that this whole rotational aspect, it depends on which sector you're in. If you're in the wrong sector, you're... There's just no question about it. For those people that had put most of their money into something like the QQQ or the, the different stocks within the, the NDX 100 and saw some of those absolute fantastic winners going into mid or late 2021 suddenly turn down and become 30 to 40, even 50 percent losers, that is really tough. So it's really selectivity that we're talking about. 
And you can see that in the Dow, the daily, we've got that peak D. We're always looking for that fourth highest peak. Yes, it's pulled back. I suspect we're going to make some kind of an arch formation and do a retest. But the most important thing you can see just from the chart that I'm showing, here's the daily chart on the left. Weekly chart is in the middle. I haven't even got a sell signal yet in the, in the weekly chart. And that monthly chart... Well, we're not even halfway through the month. Yes, there's a little doji candle, but <laughs> we've still got weeks to go. So what we are looking at is that the resistance that I showed, the Jab Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone in the weekly chart has pushed the price back from where it was. This is the third time that it's been there. And the same thing in the monthly. In fact, the monthly out of about nine months, it's tested this trend line six or seven times okay and it's and it hasn't broken above it and it hasn't broken down but that's showing you there's a lot of resistance so what i am looking at here and i'd say to subscribers to my opening call i would not be surprised if today we start to see some of those nasdaq stocks that have just been clobbered get get a really good rebound in fact we tried to we, we tried to buy one this morning uh we got it quite nicely and unfortunately just well it depends when people some people say they got in because they got in a little late and that suited them just fine so they're still in it but technically we got we, we lost uh three three and a half points on a hundred and ninety two dollar stock that's not too bad but the fact is that now that stock is now not at 192 anymore it's at 197 so that, that's just a really good example to say that those very oversold stocks can have a, a chance at uh, modulating the, the weakness that's overall in the market by having some strength in those sectors. So that's number one. Number two is um, within the, the, the different sectors that I'm looking at, we've been long um, – an oil service stock, MRO, is the uh, symbol is Marathon Oil. What I had drawn some time ago, I'll show you right here. This is the monthly chart. There's this big cup formation. And I always love to do these rectangles. We're from the March 23rd low of last year, where we actually started going along different positions. Look, these rectangle formations are formidable in terms of making, eventually making a cup formation. It's like a stair step move. Big move up, pulls back. Big move up, pulls back. Big move up, pulls back. And now we're in leg E in the monthly chart. And my target was 18.93. And today we've gotten to 18.74. Nice. And in the, in the daily chart, this is still leg C. In the weekly chart, it's leg C. And that speaks to what you were talking about just a moment ago about the oil, the oil sector. And that really is, to a large extent, it is dependent on the oil sector. It can be, it's oil service. The service can be, have a slightly different chart formation, but it, it'll be, it helps to have the oil pushing higher. The other thing that I'm looking at here is, the TLT had a huge pullback. Uh, it went from 152.99, it's called a 153, right down to the low of 136 uh, two days ago. Now it's trying to bounce. So that, as the yields go higher, it's not exactly comparable to uh, having energy in the uh, oil, in the oil sector, but it's energy for the bank stock. It helps them. So the XLF um, had a very big move up. <laughs> excuse me, it went from the 37 area to the 41s. Uh, we have Bank of America, and that's participated really nicely. <laughs> We've had it for a long time from the 31 area, but this last move from about 42 going to uh, 50, and now it's at 49.14. Just it's, it's reflective of this sector rotation that I'm talking about. So I consider that very important. Then the other thing that you were talking about is the dollar, so I have a particular pattern that I look at, and I've used this for years. It's the, the rectangle formation, and that rectangle formation can go a lot longer than your patience, and at some point, especially the narrow rectangle formation. So we've been long the dollar since April of 2018 and about 1907. Watch it scream up to 102.99, then come all the way down. Fortunately, our stop on the UUP, which we have held, we've only taken one little bit off at 96. And here's this rectangle pattern stuck. And the two things I've been talking about is that if you look through all different charts, there are so many where after weeks, the price goes back to within pennies of where it was. I don't know how markets do that, but they I do know. that. Yeah. Look at this, 96, 94 on the 24th of um, November for the dollar of last year. 
And a month later, less than a month later, it, it pulls back sharply to 95 and then goes up to 96, 91, three cents away. So basically, that's like a double top. If you look at the technicals, the daily technicals are much weaker on the right side. So now we've got the rectangle formation. And the rectangle formation says there's a good chance that if it pops above the, the, the resistance, it's going to come back because this is such like a magnet. It's been here for so long. But if it starts to go down and breaks, in this case, you were talking about uh, under 95.52. And so I'm saying if it closes under 95.52, you might get one bounce back into the 95.90s, but there's a chance that the dollar could actually start to come back a little deeper and that would help gold. So yeah, I, this is a very interesting selective market. And I think the bounce is gonna go a little longer in the uh, QQQs. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see opening call right into featured content. Hit that button. You are off to the races. Basil, have a great one. Safe win. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you Stay right there, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 181. NASDAQ is up 205. S&Ps are up 40. Let's go take a look at uh, ExxonMobil. So ExxonMobil is going to break topside uh, in a big way, by the way. The low for the year is $44. The high is, this is the last 12 months, rather. When I say the year, low 44, the high 71, even at this price, they're still paying a 4.9% uh, dividend. And if we bring this up, this is a nice break topside, there's no doubt. Let's put this on a weekly first. Okay, so you get a break of the whole deal. Nice. And we got an ABC up. 
let's do it this way. So 66, 52. That's another way of doing it. 66, 76. That's 80. This thing's going to 80. Okay, so let's go take a look at and see who's buying it. A couple of Tigers want to know as Fidelity stepped in to this more. So there's Fidelity right there. So to answer your question, no, Fidelity was actually a seller, uh, but that's a long time ago. Last time, they haven't done anything since last September. That's how this reads. See that filing? Uh, September 30th. So that means, that means in the summer um, of 2021, they were selling. If we take a look at this right now, as to any buyers, we, there's going to be buyers, that's for sure. 20, 20, these are all 2021. I'm not quite sure who's coming into that, but the bottom line, someone's coming into it. If you had a chance to um, hear Powell's confirmation hearing, folks, what lit a fire under these commodities, I suspect, okay? When I heard this, I was saying, thank you, God, <laughs> uh, for the commodity business. Because, so, he was get, Powell was getting questioned, and he was getting questioned about the aspect of the runoff. He wasn't getting questioned about the aspect of the rates going up. He was getting questioned about the aspect of the runoff in the amount. They have a $9 trillion balance sheet. And the way that he answered it, it was pretty, it was pretty, it, 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 it's, to me, it said everything, okay? Which would, which would make, here, let me walk you through it. So what had happened is that the senator was saying that he felt that, uh, you know, he wants to see this runoff go quicker than in the past. And Powell answered in the aspect two different ways. Well, he answered it, he gave him two answers, actually. Same deal. The first one was the aspect that, they hadn't made a decision yet, and that good decisions normally take three or four meetings. Well, if you know the Federal Reserve, three or four meetings, folks, okay, turns into a good six or seven months. So right there, I says, oh, this is going to be interesting. We're talking about a longer period of time in order to basically put the switch on the amount of runoff inside of the bond buying program and then secondly this is and this is a big one secondly they were comparing this he was comparing this he, he he liked the idea that they had experience with this because they had done it in 2007 2000, 2006 7 and 8 so they had experience with it the difference and this is a big difference the difference is that the amount of runoff that they have now is on much shorter term rate so, so specifically what that means is that the amount of bonds that they have are much shorter in duration, maybe two years, five years, 10 years, they didn't say what they were, versus 20 or 30 years. And as soon as he said that, I says, you know what? Commodities are gonna run right now because two different things end up happening. Number one, he is saying to the marketplace, okay, yes, inflation's out here, we're gonna try to strangle inflation, which my take is they're not gonna be able to do that. They, they'll be able to do it, but this is gonna take a year and a half, two years, three years, it's gonna go that long. And then the second part of it's actually more important, because the second part of it is how any big bureaucracy moves. They move very slowly. And you can see what we have out here. As Soon as that was done, bottom line, dollars start pulling back, Gold stock going higher, oil stock going higher. Um, the bottom line, folks, is that uh, the punch ball in general is not going to get ripped out like a like a Greenspan rip out. Green, Greenspan absolutely ripped it out. I think it was 95, 94. I remember it was either five or six rate hikes right in a row. And it wasn't like the economy wasn't booming like it is right now. That's the bottom line. Let's go take a look at natural gas. So one of the uh, tigers out here, NG. So let's see what we have here. We definitely have cold weather, man. I mean, it hasn't been this cold in Boston for a long period of time. It hasn't been this cold. It was 50 when we woke up in Florida today. That's cold in Florida, folks. I'm a little baby, too. I know. What can you do? <laughs> okay, so NG, natural gas. Let's take a look at this. So you're off the lows. That's, I have the future up first. And, oh, yeah, this is, I mean, depending on how long you're going to get it, that, we're, okay, 
407, it broke that. 350, 457 is the next move. You can see this yesterday. Yesterday, you took the whole consolidation out, took it out with volume. So what you do there is you take the bottom of the consolidation, top of the consolidation, 457 is the number. And then, okay, so if we go to UNG, which is the ETF for natural gas, the low uh, is uh, three, to, uh, where, no, the low is 895, the high is 22. We're trading at 1406. And yeah, this is a good setup. This is, this is the same type of setup, just, okay, so 1327, 137 plus, plus 31, 30, 67, I say 167, so that's uh, 14, that's 15 bucks, yeah, this is on its way to 15 bucks, the UNG. Realistic, I suspect this UNG is going to go up to ICE. What you have here, when you're taking a look at this, ICE is laid out at uh, 1579. I mean, you get a bounce, that's what normally happens, you know. So you, you can expect uh, higher prices coming out yet. Let's go into the uh, NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. Uh, you got Illumina is up 15.5%. You got Mercado Libre up 11.5%. JD is up 10%. And uh, Lucid is up 788 Taken away from it. Moderna. Moderna's down 5.5%. You got Exelon is uh, down 2%. XL Energy's off 1.8%. And Starbucks is off 1.5%. What the heck is XL Energy doing down on a day like this? Let me look at this. So, I see. X. Okay, it's a little bit different. I see. That's a utility company. Okay, not. I was going to say, uh, with oil, the way oil is running out here, it would be really insane if it was down. Taiwan Semi. Let's go take a look at Taiwan Semi. TSM, the low in Taiwan Semi is 107. The high is 142. You're trading 129 right now. Okay, so this has... Now, this, this is an equity that has gaps all over the place, but those are currency gaps, folks. That's what ends up happening. Um, yeah, Taiwan Semi can make the run to 135 again pretty easy. We're at 129.16. Is that the high? Let's see. Well, it's not the high, too. That's even better. Yeah, this is this is a good setup, man. You take the bottom at 127. It's 20 bucks. 147 is game in Taiwan, Taiwan Semi. And right now, uh, you're trading uh, at 129. As soon as we come back, I'll do Target. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up 158. NASDAQ up 199. S&P's up 37. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 158. NASDAQ up 185. S&P is up 35. Let's go take a look at the uh, good old Tiger. Okay, so where are we here? Okay, so we came down. If we take a look at Tiger for the year, the low is uh, 166. The high is 268. We're at 227. March 2nd is when they come out with their numbers next. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. Okay, so you get down to the bottom of the consolidation. Oh, that's good, though. Okay, so you can see. So watch how this went, folks, okay? Well, for, let me see. So, well, this is good. On a weekly, 268.98. One second. Two. Yeah. So, okay, so first off, what you have is this. You have a high. That's a high-volume high. That's what you always like. That's the bottom line. It sold off from the high volume high, but you have a high volume high. Bottom line, when you have high volume high, they love going back to the highs. Then we came down. We broke the consolidation. And you can see you're going into the breakout area from the week of the 21st of May. That number there was 32 million. The first week we come down with 23 million. Then you rejected lower price with 16 million. You got to remember 16 million probably got out of day because that, that was the... the there's still low volume. That's saying we'll build cars once again to try to get up to 249 to uh, 268. That's how that baby's laid out. Um, oh, man, Jim. Jim, you better get down here, man. It's a, lot, it's a lot warmer down here. Let me pull this one up. GLDG. Okay, so this is Gold Mining Inc. Uh, this op uh, they operate a gold... Services in Canada, United States, Brazil, and Colombia. Let's see if they've taken any money. Okay, so this is highly speculative. The, these are the ones that blow my mind that they're already trading. I mean, I hope they have a, a good mind because they're trading at a dollar seventy, and they don't have any income. This is going to the moon. That's for sure. I mean, three weeks ago it was ninety-eight cents. Okay, so now, okay, so you've been in a downdraft. You're taking out the swing today. Yeah, well, this is saying the next move up, took that swing up. Yeah, next move up, like 194, you're at 170. And I'm, I don't know, maybe they're going to, would take me longer to wrap my head around that um, than I have time for on the show. But bottom line is that if you buy something like this, make sure you know what you're buying, folks. Um, C, let's see, C, L, F, T. Nope, that's not going to be right. C, F, L, T. Okay, C, F, L, T.
Okay, so this baby here, you get a low of $37, a high of $94. This is a software company, uh, let's see. Office a new category of data infrastructure designed to connect all application systems, data layers of a company around real-time central nervous system, as well as generates revenue from the sale of subscriptions and services. We take a look at the uh, income model here. You get uh, taking $109 million a quarter, and they're going to be losing money for a while, so it must be a new, newer company. That being said... Okay, so I'm going to put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is this is a this is a good setup. I mean, this this is saying this thing wants to run to 83 to 94. So, it's not bad. You can see, you know, when it came down, the, the first time it came down, the week of uh, December 17th, $58, 18 million shares. Next time, 13 million shares. You know, so it's just start making its way higher. What what we all have to recognize is that the whatever you're buying right now, I mean, if you're buying it for you know five or ten years, that's that's great. Okay, um, if you're buying this for a swing trade, you absolutely have to pay attention to the market. Also, uh, you know, we're we're on Tuesday, so. Where that takes me is that I think we're going to be up all week. That's how this kind of, to me, that's how this is feeling, okay? The reason being is that that would be one way to drive everyone right out of their minds. <laughs> Meaning, you know, you have a bumpy market, you come down quick. I'm sure there's folks that, you know, unfortunately shouldn't have sold yesterday if they're in there for a long time. I'm not talking about trading. I'm talking about for a longer period of time. But that's what happens every time. And then all of a sudden, bang, it snaps right back goes higher, and that's the environment that we're in that I expect we're going to be in for a while. That's, that's what it comes down to. We go take a look at, uh, let's take a look at some of the king dogs out here. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon, I believe, come down and hit that number that I've been looking at for a while. In fact, it broke it, I think. Let's see. So this thing, you can see how this is sticking out, too. Well, no, it didn't get down there yet. That's, uh, well, the top of it's 3163. The bottom of it was uh, 2880. And we made it to 31.26. Okay, so you can see the highs of these low, of these high volume low bars are really important to wrap your head around because when they reject them, that means you go on topside once again, and Amazon rejected it. Let's go to uh, Mike in uh, New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Well, uh, aside from cold, yeah. um, my Calyx has gotten cold. C A L X. It was. Uh, it's been as high as seventy five, seventy six. Okay. But it's coming down and it's making money, and I don't understand. It's making money hand over fist. Let's take a look. You got Calyx. Okay, that's it. Provides computer services, cloud computing. The lows twenty nine. The highs eighty. Okay. So. Yeah, it certainly is coming down. Okay. There's no news either that I can find. Yeah, someone got out of it. You see, you see this. You know, I I know you've been listening to me forever, and I thank you for that. Yeah, but that's see, true. see, see this volume off the top. That's yeah. always a problem. That's just, and this one here, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. So what that is here? Yeah, well, let's see if we can find it. That's a that's a large fund getting out, and they always know more than we do. Let me just see. Okay. Eleven thirty. Oh, there's you get manual life as a seller. American Beacon. Eh, nothing really sticks out that dramatically. Well, yeah, I'm in at twenty five. I mean, so I'm not yeah, no, worried. no, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, but it's always tough, you know, coming back, right? I know what you're saying. So let me just, let me just yeah. look at this. So yeah, hundred seventy three million and a quarter, twenty four cents. You can. It, there's something going on here, Mike. Cause see how the the company themselves are even saying what they're saying is that they're only going to bring 95 cents to the bottom line next year, this coming year. But yet they got they are going to do more gross sales, but they must have more expenses. See that number there? Mm, then the yeah. year afterwards it goes up to a buck 35. Mm.
So okay. pr- protect yourself. Don't don't let this go to 25. <laughs> no, I don't worry. Yeah. Okay, man. Have a great one. All Have right, a safe well, one. Stay warm. Skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 149, NASDAQ 174, S&P's up 34. Uh, XAUHUI, we got some action in both of them, folks. Okay, they both... Rejected lower price out here. Just checked out the volumes. I'll do it with you right now. You can see it was lighter volume as it came into the lows. Expansion of volume as it's going up. We, when we come into the lows on uh, Friday, you had a 22 million shares traded going against 38. Yesterday, we did 24. Today, you're going to see a lot more than that. This thing's going higher, man. That's the XAU. HUI, of course, they always trade uh, about the same. The, di the difference is, though, is that the HUI did not pull back as much. Um, so that's saying that the bottom line, we have a better probability that the actual gold contract is going to run a lot higher. So in the, in the Gold Bugs Index, we hit a low at 16 million. That was going against 30. We went up yesterday with 19. We'll probably, we're going to do a lot more out here today because when you go, this is what you do. The quickest way to do this, folks, you don't get the, the numbers until night, but the quickest way to do this is you go look at Newmont first. Newmont had 4.1 million. Well, yesterday was 4.9, so that's actually lower. And then go to Barrick also. And Barrick, let's see what Barrick had. Barrick had 12 million. Yesterday was 19. Yeah, so it is a little bit lower out here. Franco Nevada, NFV. And maybe we'll get 
Yeah, Franklin, Nevada is less too. Bottom line is that, yeah, there's going to be a little less volume out here today. Uh, inside the XAU, inside the HUI, the bounce is on. That's the real bottom line here in the broad market, folks. You can, I expect that you're going to get to higher price. You're going to contract all the way up. And remember, the, the day to remember, when you, and this would be looking at any of the equities that you actually have, is October 14th, I think. Yeah, October 4th. One, two, three, four. October 4th the number. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Stay warm up north, man. Stay warm. Don't get frost. Stay warm. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Kicks us off. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, we'll get him, folks.